Do you understand any jokes, mister? <laughs> I'm looking at the Jewish husbands, they're afraid to laugh. When you tell jokes to Gentiles, they laugh. Jewish husbands don't laugh. They have to get permission from their wives. The Jew never laughs unless he looks at his wife first. Isn't he funny? He's funny, isn't he? <laughs> he's not, he's not, he's not. <laughs> I thought he was, I thought he was. It's up to you, it's up to you. It so happens that I like them. I don't, I thought I did, I thought I did. <laughs> they don't even order food without permission from their wives. Before a Jew orders food, they always look at her face. Do I like this? It so happens that I like it. I don't. I thought I did. I thought I did. It's up to you. It's up to you. Jews have to get permission for everything they do. Because the wife is the boss. She's not working. How she became the boss, I don't know. No matter how much money he makes, her stitch does it. They can't even walk around in their own house. You ever see a Jew in his own house? He paid a half a million dollars for it, and he's the only one who can't walk around in it. No matter where he goes, he's in the wrong place. He's in the wrong place. Now. You ever see a Jew in the right place at his own house? Never. As soon as he goes over here, get out of here, go over there. So he goes over here. No, you have to stand here. I'm, this is the part I'm doing. Can't you stand over there? Excuse me, I'll stand over there. He can't even go to the toilet. I'm going to the toilet. Not now, you can't go now. I just did the toilet. You couldn't go yesterday and Saturday. The only way you can make her happy is by passing away immediately. Because no matter where he moves, he's in the wrong place. I'm going here. You can't go! I'm he's afraid to touch anything. You ever see a Jew who could touch anything in his own house? No matter what he touches, it's for the guests. It's for the guests. This is not for you. It's for the guests. If it costs nothing, he could touch it. As soon as it costs more than a quarter, it's not for you. It's for the guests. It's for the guests. He can't touch a glass. You ever see a Jew drink from a glass? Never. As soon as he touches it, you got the wrong glass. It's for the guests. Every Jew you meet is walking around with a paper cup in his own house. <laughs> He looked like a homeless man from a shelter someplace. Somewhere. I say if a Jew has any brains and he falls in love with a Jewish woman, what he should do is let somebody else marry her. <laughs> then you come to the house as a guest. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> you understand this?